What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to cover all the new exotic scene in the recent Bungie Forsaken reveal. Now there are some seriously interesting things to look at. At the moment I can't confirm they are all exotic but both do indeed look that way. Also a note, many of the new design themes uh, around weapons could be mistaken for exotics so I will do my best to eliminate what I can. Now I will be posting many videos throughout the night covering many aspects of the stream because there's just so much to go over and talk about so stay tuned for them but hey people if you'd like to support the channel you can by hitting that like button it truly does help me and the channel out and I do appreciate that support. Okay so throughout the stream we saw many new exciting things but right now I want to talk about the new exotics and boy I believe we saw a load. Firstly onto the guarantees. Now when they were expecting a new weapon loadout system we saw four new exotics here. Unfortunately we only got the description for one. It was called the Twin Rabbit. This is a new rocket launcher with some seriously interesting stats and perks. Check it out. Gravity and fire shoots two tracking rockets, one void, one solar, that's insane. Pretty sure it's the first exotic we've had which deals two burn damages within a single mode. Weapons such as the hard light and the borealis, you have to switch burn types, with this you don't. The void rocket suppresses and the solar rocket causes damage over time, so that sounds pretty damn amazing. We see a lot of footage of this weapon and you can see that on screen now. The launcher itself looks a beast like the Garden is struggling to hold it but no doubt this thing will pack a major punch. We then see this new incredible looking sword. Name is not yet known but we do see footage of it. If it is the sword we see on screen now it looks like it kind of fires a sonic boom of some sort taking out multiple enemies within a certain range could be great for sure. Next up we have this exotic energy weapon which we see is a new trace rifle. A family member to the Cold Art and the Prometheus lens. This one you can see also shoots void, making sense since the other two shoot solar and arc. So finally we get a full set. We then have a kinetic exotic hand cannon. Now this is a weapon many think is the fawn. In fact it isn't. Its design is just too different for sure. So if it isn't the fawn, what is it? Well in my opinion it's definitely a weapon of sorrow. I mean maybe it's a throwback to the fawn, maybe it's an evolved version. But it just isn't the fawn as we know it. The green ooze though does seem to emanate from it upon firing. That's pretty sick if you ask me. I'm actually excited to see and hear more about this weapon. Next up we have this unique looking hand cannon. At first it reminded me of a kind of Sturm Hawk Moon inbreed. But upon closer inspection it's definitely its own weapon for sure. Now I can't confirm this is an exotic. But it does receive its own unique place in the V-Duck. Uh, showcasing its amazing reload animation. Now if you don't know, within the Forsaken DLC, a new weapon type will be introduced, the Legendary Bow. Now the trailer was full of amazing bows, but the one that stood out to me most was this voiced one we see on screen now. Now again, I can't say this is an exotic, in fact I put my money on it not being an exotic, but within the game there has to be at least one exotic bow. That you can put your money on people. And I cannot wait to find out what it is. We then see a triangle formation of guardians, the camera pans around them. The first weapon we see is this crazy three barreled auto rifle, I believe this is. I mean this design besides the front is kind of a little plain and boring but the front of it is actually pretty cool. What is this thing? We then see the fawn wannabe alongside another bow. We also see this very unique in design looking hand cannon or sidearm. At first I thought this indeed could be an exotic but footage from later on in the video confirms it's just a legendary. Does look good though. The stream was full of absolutely amazing looking armors too. A lot of fallen theme stuff. One piece which really stood out to me was this one we see on screen now being worn by a hunter. Half metal plate, half rags. A lot of the Fallen theme stuff did indeed look like this which is great. The style of the armors we saw within the trailer were nothing like we are used to within game now. So that's a good thing. We then saw this incredible unique looking auto rifle. Now this I don't believe is an exotic as its theme we see on a few other weapons including this one on a warlock's back. As well as this sniper you can see on screen now. This is a weapon I believe is themed around one of the new destinations we can explore. Either the Tangled Shore or the Dreaming City. They do indeed though look good and I cannot wait to see the full collection. And lastly people I want to cover the Ace of Spades. The K6 Destiny 1 Exotic Hand Cannon. A hand cannon which in my opinion wasn't even that great. Some loved it, others hated it. I was one of them others. Throughout the whole stream we actually saw a few glimpses of it. It was teased for a reason people and that is because it's coming back. And this is how you get it. 
the Ace of Spades is part of the Digital Deluxe Edition pre-order. If you pre-order it, which costs $80, you see some exclusive loot, including the Awoken Legend set, the Annual Pass, and Kay's Exotic Stash, which includes an emblem, a ship, and the Ace of Spades. So that is, people, how this is obtained. Hmm... And guys, that is it. If you spotted anything interesting in the trailer, which I haven't covered today, let me know down below. I have a few videos coming on many different aspects of the stream, so stay tuned for them. Thanks as always for stopping by, people. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly helps me out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one. Always in the